Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures, and you know what? It's Friday. That means it's time for another Obscurity in Literature. And for once, or in a very rare blue moon, uh, the book in question actually somewhat pertains to all of the models that I'm constantly bombarding you with on a near daily basis for the last I don't know how many years. Um, Arcane Minis originally got this all rolling with their very first Kickstarter campaign, which was for, obviously, airships, that this was going to be a subsequent campaign that was going to take all the rules that they'd started to work on, which they actually were starting on on that very first campaign, putting their airship designs out there, and then eventually, despite the pandemic, despite crazy shipping costs, actually got these big, nice, hardcover physical editions out there to backers and for interested parties out there as well so naturally we will have a link down below you guys want to find one of these yourselves but i do like to mention that if you want to go the pdf route that is also available for all this stuff too now i am quite familiar with arcane minis i have printed a ton of their stuff over the years since the original campaign alas i have yet to actually get an airship done. Uh, I have nagged family members. They don't know what they're doing. That would be Mr. Percival Sparkle Trout, who I'm going to call out by name on this one. Uh, I, I would absolutely love to get one of these printed. I don't know. If any of you are like nearby me and know what the hell you're doing, if you want to shoot me a DM, we can, we can see if we can figure this stuff out together. I would love to have one of these one day. And one of the cool things, actually, about this book is that just about everything in here actually has a model that can go along with it. Now, being a 5e compatible uh, gaming supplement, as it says here, uh, you know, you can obviously use whatever you wish. And one of the things I like about this book, and these type of um, background books in particular, is, you know, while it does have the usual, you know, campaign dressings and stats and stuff, I love the fact that the first third of the book, I'd say, is just giving you background information on all of their stuff on Sordain, because Skies of Sordain was the original campaign, I re vaguely recall. And I love just the weird various bird people. We get into all the different races. We've got geography. We've got all the usual stuff, the various religions and deities. Famous cities, you know, we get into the economies of stuff, various places you can go. And one of the things I really liked, I've backed a few RPG supplements off a of Kickstarter over the years, and it irks me when I'm paying a premium price for a very boutique book that doesn't have a lot of art. Or if it does have art, it's all stuff that I had seen previously, and I don't feel that way about this. This is one of those books where I really feel like they put their monies where their mouth were, was, whatever, and made sure that a lot of the artwork here is actually new stuff. And, I mean, almost every page, and that's one of the things I hate about these types of books, I always feel like it's a bit of a gamble. Am I going to get artwork on almost every page and in this case yes yes you are and i mean it's nice looking artwork too and almost all of these ships are all going to be in here as well so there's all kinds of tables tables for flying tables for encounters we get into the whole purpose behind the airships and how they function how they fly there's all kinds of charts we get into some of the basic vessels, racing, which I know there are some skiffs and racers, which I have yet to ever get. I'm going to try doing like a, a resin one, but I just fear there's going to be an awful lot of resin. So I love they have these big, nice double page spreads of all the various ships. And you know what? It just gives me nostalgic flashbacks to having that old spell jammer box set. I never once played a game of Spelljammer, ever. I mean, I did talk a few friends over the years, you know, when I was much younger, into playing, you know, quasi-D&D &D tabletop sessions that I always inevitably had to DM, and it just that's how the dice rolled. But, dang, did I love 
you know, the, the in the original Spelljammer box, they had like each of the ships on its own thick cardstock paper, and it had like all the schematics and stuff and all the stats on the back. And man, I love that. And this definitely gives me vibes of that. And then you get into all of the background on these ships, you know. Sample uses, you have all the various deck guides, and we get into a bunch of stats, which should look familiar to those kinds of people who use that. And I, I thought, you know, example crews are in here. They've got, like, the, you know, the, I don't know, the skyline. I, I don't know. The, the, there's a word I'm thinking of, and it's escaping me at the moment uh, for identifying, like, the, the silhouettes of the various ships, like the dreadnoughts. You know, and it gives you a nice sense of scale. You can see a lot of the other ships all kind of tucked away, floating around back there. So it's a nice touch. And like I said, I really feel like when you have a book like this and when you're trying to sell me on a campaign idea or just RPG stuff in general, the artwork really has to sing. And maybe that's why I loved all the Palladium books so much growing up. I, I, I poured over those stupid things, and I, I'll be honest, I don't think I ever played a Palladium game uh, in its intended form. Never. But damn, did the artwork just get my mind a stirring. And I love this, you know, we have the breakdowns of the various deck levels, and one of the cool things is I know they have optional uh, cardstock deck maps that you can build, you know, like tiles and junk. I have some somewhere that came with my Kickstarter pledge, I don't know where I put them, because I don't know if I'm going to get to them anytime soon. But I thought that was a really cool touch, and one of the really nice things, if you're hardcore enough, some of these major, gigantic ships, if you go ahead and 3D print them, actually have these removable decks. You can stack them all in, there are you know, options for magnetizing them. The Gleaming Shard is one of the ones I wanted to get printed. Bunch of weird elf boats. Stats, stats, stats. We have a new boat on this page. Mm, there we go. Hive Mind Reaper. So again, shades of spell jammer esque boats here, which are never a bad thing in my opinion. Jump ahead here, so. Spell driving, that's how a lot of these ships are powered, and they have all kinds of rules for that. Nice artwork, and then we start to get into the bestiary. Creatures and monsters, and there's a nice chunk of creatures, and they're quite diverse. There's a lot of unique stuff, and I mean, for me, I love reading all these stupid things. I love reading... I've. One of these days, maybe I'll sit down and we'll do some videos on, like, all of the Kobold Press books, like all the Tomes of Beasts. I own all those, and I don't think... I can't recall the last time I actually played a game with any of this. I just love reading about monsters and stuff and looking at the artwork. All the various drones and things you can get. We're still going through. I mean, there's a good, hefty chunk of monsters in here, and I'm trying to skip past them all. No, we're still there. We're still into the golems and dragons. Finally, and then the last... What fifth, fourth of the book, is just various items, trinkets, equipment that characters can end up with. Various bionics. It's just a lot of fun stuff. And then we have an appendix in the back full of the various types of people. And I know they do have a physical map if you're one of those people that are really into maps. Uh, can't knock anybody who's into cartography. Especially nice looking ones like this. Uh, they do have those available too. And a pretty thorough looking index. And <laughs> that good old OGL, which we've all come to enjoy and love over the last few weeks with all of the meltdowns and drama that ensued there. So honestly, a really cool looking book. Uh, even if I don't get to use it for its intended purpose of running a campaign, because that would require people that actually want to sit down and play, uh, and getting everybody to the table all at a degree to plot time is not the easiest task, as many of you probably who regularly do that, um, it's much like herding 
cats or kindergartners. And I mean, I do that enough as it is for my job. I don't want to do that at home for fun too, but there's so much cool stuff in background. And I mean, for me, uh, a successful RPG book supplement campaign system is going to be something that has that kind of meat and potatoes. Yeah, stats are great, but I want the the flavor. I want I want the spices. So, yeah, this book was a big hit for me. Um, I mean, I'd already flipped through it because I had the PDFs anyway. So, one of the nice things is if you do have access to a printer, all this stuff's available, be it a physical, you know, inkjet. <laughs> laser jet whatever jet printer if you want to print all this stuff off they've got tons of maps they've got monthly modules that have been coming out for i think well over a year on patreon and my mini factory at this point so there's a lot of content out there that's already done if you're interested in that uh, and there's tons of the figures all of the ships in here have physical models that if you're crazy enough to go print them they're out there and available uh, there's new ones coming out all the time. I know I've got like the jellyfish one and like the floating sky towers with cannons. I will want to get that stuff printed. So yeah, uh, I don't know if anybody has any hints, tips, tricks to help Sparkle Trout and me get that printer of his rolling so we can get this stuff printed. I would absolutely love to print one of these boats out. They're big. They're really big. And we'll see if I can drudge up some of the models that the two of us have worked on at some point and maybe we can do a catch-all expose about some of their stuff as always though we'll have those links they just finished a extra funding campaign on tribes or whatever the crowdfunding thing is on my mini factory don't remember what it's called obviously um there might be a late pledge for that they had a really good deal because i know they ran out of money to get everything shipped out originally because of everything that's been going on in the world so if you're interested in this, I will see if I can find a link for that. We'll have all those links down below. Do take a look. Um, RK Minis has been making some fun stuff, both in printed and in physical formats. So hopefully they're going to have stuff you like there too. And with that said then, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities and Miniatures saying thanks for watching and we will see you back here soon. Bye-bye.